testing parasitic draw. Make sure that the battery is fully charged to do this test. Turn the ignition switch to the off position. You're going to be working with the hood up, so make sure that the hood lamp goes out when the hood is lowered. Disconnect the hood lamp or remove the bulb. In our example, we disconnected the negative battery cable and we had installed an adapter with a 3-8 standard thread. You can use a bolt if you don't have the adapter. Then place the positive amp meter lead to the negative battery cable and set your DVOM up to read amps. This may include pushing a button, changing a switch, even changing the position of the leads. Place the negative amp meter lead to the vehicle's negative battery terminal. Now cycle the ignition switch to the on position and then to the off position. This will help processors go into the rest mode because now you're going to have to wait several minutes for these processors to go into their rest mode. This can take as little as two minutes up to 12 minutes on some big vehicles. After several minutes, read the amps. On a normal vehicle, they should not read more than 125 milliamps. Note, and pay attention to this, if the reading is zero milliamps, it just reads zero, the meter is connected wrong or the meter's fuse is blown. Fix it before going on. Some high-end vehicles may have a parasitic draw up to 500 milliamps. It's going to depend on how many processors there are and how many of those processors draw a current with the ignition switch off. High-end vehicles that have high parasitic draw also have a high CCA rated battery. Make sure the battery has a CCA rating that is equal to or higher than the OEM battery. A draw near one amp always indicates that a lamp may be on somewhere. Check the glove box, the trunk, and all other lamps. Interior lamps are usually two amps or more. If it isn't a lamp, something obvious causing excessive draw, begin by removing a fuse or relay one at a time until the amps fall to normal. Here our amp meter fell to 49 milliamps indicating that when we remove this fuse, that was the circuit that's causing the draw. Use vehicle information to determine which circuit is causing the draw. And you're going to have to test that circuit. Here in our example, we use the vehicle's owner's manual to determine which fuse that circuit related to.